Sometimes you can score them for like half price if it's a really funky colour. And if I had like money falling out of my eardrums, then yeah, I'd probably buy it. But people always say to buy Hermes Birkins and Kellys, you have to pay a premium. Like, you really don't, guys. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. I did do last week a, a version of Jessie's pre-love picks of the week. And I asked you guys if you wanted me to do it again or like do it every week. And some of you said that I should do an Hermes edition. So this week I'm going to just talk about Hermes bags that I've seen on the pre-love market that I think are pretty good deals. And um, yeah, next week, let me know, do you want me to do another brand like Louis Vuitton or... I can just do other random bags that I find because lately I noticed at the pre-love market you can find some really good deals because not as many people are buying bags as they used to. So first bag that I think is a pretty good deal is on the page Luke's Lovers Melbourne. I did buy my Believe bag from them and they are a pretty uh, friendly seller in Melbourne. They have a, a more private consignment shop but they mainly sell through their Instagram and I noticed this Polishon bag from Hermes which I don't see that often I think it's a size 31 and this bag has been on their Instagram for like literally like over a year and I've just been watching it for over a year I'm not a huge fan of orange I, I don't mind it I mean never say never I might get it I just sold my omnibus bag so I'm like I don't know it's just like not my favorite color so that's why orange you can sometimes find for really good deals this one is 2580 Australian dollars and yeah I just think that's a pretty good deal for like an Hermes bag it's in swift leather which again doesn't hold value as much for some reason but I personally really love swift leather I have a lot of bags in swift actually that I picked up for a great price and in the boutique actually swift sells for more than like Epsom so Swift is a gorgeous leather. I love how this bag comes with like little keys as well. And I think the silhouette is very timeless. I think it's a cool collector's piece if you do like this bag. It also comes in mini, which I don't see as often. I personally would want the mini size, like the, the micro size more. I think that is even cuter, but yeah, it's hard to find. So I think this bag is probably a great everyday bag. Looks Lovers Melbourne also has a Kelly 32 in geranium on their page in gold hardware which I think is really pretty and it's 12,480 Australian dollars it's a pretty good deal I mean I some would say it's not the best deal but I think it's a pretty good deal for a Kelly 32 it's a it's a bit of a newer one as well because like Kelly 32 in the boutique would be probably over $20,000 Australian now because I know Birkin 30 in Australia in like Togo from the boutique is like 20,000 Australian dollars so a Kelly 32 it would probably be like quite a lot from the boutique now so it's you know people always say to buy Hermes Birkins and Kellys you have to pay a premium like you really don't guys with Kelly 32 you can snap it up for like almost half price so I mean the thing is with red bags though I notice on the pre-love market they don't hold value as much as like other colors so you really have to like red I personally love red so I think this is a really good deal I actually paid slightly more than this for my vintage one from 1991 so perhaps I, I paid I overpaid because I yeah I do have a vintage one up here um but yes the, I bought this at like when the market was like higher and like bags were selling for more so yeah this Kelly I mean this is a Kelly 28 as well but yeah I, I read Kelly I think it's really classic and yeah the geranium color is really pretty so just thought I'd put it out there. Um, now there's another consignment store in Melbourne, which I've purchased from before as well, called Chloe and Eddie. Um, and they mainly sell through their Instagram as well. At the moment they have a Blue Electric Garden Party 36. So um, it's a bigger garden party. Um, I do have a Garden Party 30. So I, I personally prefer the 30 size, but the 36 uh yeah not as popular but you know big bags have been back in fashion and i know there are people out there who love the color blue electric so i thought this was a pretty good deal at three thousand three hundred and sixty australian dollars i think the garter party 30 is like yeah it would be over five thousand australian dollars from the retail store so you're getting it for the 36 I, yeah probably close to six thousand for the 36 in the store so Again, like half price, but probably because it's the bigger size, they don't hold value as much. And blue electric, it's a bit of a love or hate color as well. But I, I, I used to have a blue electric mini bolide, and yeah, I'm on the fence about blue electric. I actually think that I love it, but 
yeah, I don't know. I, I just had a phase where I thought blue bangs don't work for me, but honestly, I think it's such a beautiful saturated blue, and it's it's just really stunning. So I think it's like an everyday cool funky bag. It's a pretty good buy. And then Chloe and Eddie also have a mini Halzan, which I really like the Halzan. I think I would love to buy one one day. Maybe not this year. Um, I mean, never to say never, guys, but um, yeah, maybe at some point because I think it's a really cute bag and I've heard it's really practical. This is the mini version in Rouge Tomate. So it's a red again. So again, it doesn't hold value because it's red, but the price is for 5780 I do think that this is under retail, and sometimes you find that the mini Halzan sells for over retail. So I think the deal is not bad, and I'm going to say it's this price because it's Rouge Tomate, which it, tomato, which doesn't usually hold value. But again, red bags are kind of back in fashion, so I thought it was not a bad deal. And it's a cute little mini bag as well, so I quite like it. Um, it it's in Swift as well, which is probably why it doesn't hold value. And then Chloe and Eddie also have a vintage Kelly 28 in uh, blue jean. And I know blue jean is back in fashion again, so I thought I'd mention it. It's um, Kelly 28 usually sells for more than Kelly 32, just because it's slightly more popular. Um, it's 13200 Um It's from 2003, but it does have the double hooks. And yeah, I, I don't know, I quite like it. It's in Togo leather as well. So yeah, again, it's going to be under the retail price if you buy it from the store. Blue jean is a really nice neutral color. Um, yeah, I have a blue jean bag here just for reference. This is a plume bag and it has the white contrasting stitch. Uh, I really like that characteristic of blue jean with the white contrast. So yeah, I thought it was a pretty good deal. Like I, I've noticed that the pre-love market is down, so you will see like more things like this kind of pricing for Birkins and Kellys, especially with like older ones. You can definitely get it for under retail. Um, now there is another Instagram in Australia called Timeless Vogue. And I have purchased actually a Louis Vuitton bag from them in the past. They were really good to deal with. Uh, they have this Kelly to go gold on gold ever color for 9,850 Australian dollars. Now, some of you guys are gonna think, Jess, that is not a good deal, but the Kelly To Go sometimes sells for like over 10,000, and because this is like gold on gold, it's, I think this is like around the retail price. So instead of like, you know, playing the game in the store or trying to stalk the Hermes website every day, you can buy it from Timeless Vogue. Um, yeah, and I thought, yeah, it's, it's a pretty like decent price. I mean, it is not cheap, by any means, but it is a very sought after combination. So I thought it was a pretty good deal for that. If you if you want the Kelly to go, I would actually love a Kelly to go as well. I've been tossing up whether to get a Kelly to go or a Kelly wallet, and I quite I can't quite decide yet. I, I think for nine thousand dollars, I'd rather get like a mini twenty four twenty four or something to be honest, like than a Kelly to go. But yeah, or I just save up for a Birkin, to be honest. But yeah, I, I don't know. I, I still think it's a really nice little bag there, so I thought I'd point it out. And then they also have on Timeless Vogue a mini Berlin bag in Rouge Granat. This one is 5850 Um, I believe this bag has been discontinued, but it really reminds me of, like, the Gypsy Air bag, uh, which is this bag, but it has this, like, weird quilting on it, and it's mini size, so it's going to be smaller than this. So if you do like the mini Gypsy Air, I know that's a really hot bag at the moment. Uh, that one sells on the pre-love market for, like, definitely over... Eleven thousand uh, dollars, but this one could be a good like little alternative if you like the mini gypsy air because this one you can detach the strap and you can even add like a little top handle to it or something like that. And it's five thousand eight hundred and fifty. So I thought the price, you know, for an Hermes bag, it's a decent price. Again, I think it's this price because it's swift and it's red. So <laughs> it always seems to be that combination. I know when I got my So Kelly bag, um, it was. Uh, this bag, it was also a really good deal because it's red. So, um, yeah, I got this for like, what was it? Like 4,000? Uh, under 4,000. It was maybe 3,800. Yeah, something like that. But yeah, just if you're a red lover, it's a good time to buy bags because they don't hold value. Then on Desi Designer Archives, I purchased from them before but as well. Notice this Hermes 2022 in the loop bag. 
in gold uh, with the contrast white stitch. I really like this bag. I think it is so cute. I would love to have one of these. I think it is such a cute, practical, like sporty crossbody. You can wear this bag multiple ways as well. You can wear it on your waist. You can wear it on your shoulder. Um, and this one, it's not cheap. It's $4,950. However, the retail is like over 5,000. So this bag, again, it's like not the easiest to get like online or anything like that. Perhaps you could try your luck in the store, but I think the combination with the gold color, that, that color is really popular. So um, I think the price is decent for the bag. Yeah, I just think it's a really cute bag. And I, I'm not gonna lie guys, I was tempted to buy it at one point, but then I kind of resisted because now I think I kind of want 20, mini 24, 24 more than this. But it's cute so i'm just putting it out there if you want that that's a pretty cute bag and then there's an hermes uh gold cali with palladium hardware i love this combination uh in the size 35 so it's a really big bag it's in clemence and i will say that clemence leather is quite heavy so i think this would be a pretty heavy kelly but the price twelve thousand dollars it's not a bad price for a kelly 35 i think that's a decent price and this one's from 2011, so it's not too old. Like, it's not, like, vintage. 12000 yeah, it's a pretty good deal. And I think if you're, like, a taller person or even if you're a guy, this could be a really cool, like, work bag, travel bag. The price is pretty decent. On Emia, I love looking at their inventory because they always have, like, the best Hermes bags. Like Kelly 25 in Togo in Rouge de Coeur. Again, it's red, so it's not going to sell for as much as, like, black or gold or e2 or something 21,920 australian dollars that is a lot of money but i think for kelly 25 that's like not the worst price especially in togo leather um i could kind of understand if it was swift but togo usually sells for more than swift so i think this deal is actually quite good and i like how it has gold hardware as well it's basically like this uh, color with gold hardware but it's in Togo and it's a Kelly 25. So I think, you know, if your budget for Kelly 25 is like under like the $20,000 mark, this is a really cute bag to uh, snap up because yeah, sometimes Kelly 25s, depending on the bag can go for like close to 30,000 on the pre-love market. So yeah, this is like on the lower end of like a Kelly 25 pricing. And then Emia also has a shoulder Kelly bag, which I thought was really cool. It's $15,920, not cheap at all. Actually, I feel like if this, this was posted like last year, it probably would have been posted for less. But now that the, they've issued like more East-West bags this year, like uh, there's going to be a new shoulder Birkin and everything, this shoulder Kelly is definitely coming back in fashion. And it's a really cool collector's piece. I really like this Jordan amber color. I think it's just so stunning with the gold hardware. I wouldn't say this is a good deal, but it's a pretty cool bag. So I just thought I'd mention it. And if I had like money falling out of my eardrums, then yeah, I'd probably buy it because I think it's a cool bag. But yeah, it's not it's not my favorite. I really like this Lindy 30 in Rose Poupre. I love Rose Poupre as well. So I thought I'd point it out. My Birkin is in Rose Poupre, um, just over here. Um, and this price, 7780 for a Lindy 30. It is well under the retail. I think now it would be over $15,000 for a Lindy 30. Believe it or not. I know that's crazy. But yeah, Lindy bag. If you like the funky color ones, like this i picked up for like well under retail as well if you like the funky color ones i would suggest buying it pre-loved if you like gold e2 black like they're gonna sell for more on the pre-love market or maybe slightly under retail but sometimes you can score them for like half price if it's a really funky color so yeah uh, mine is in blue brighton with verso um, which I really like this combination. I think it's really pretty. I love this like purpley blue color and actually mine's in Evercolor as well. So this one here is also in Evercolor leather. The Purse Affair, I noticed they had a mini Constance in like a blue electric color again, which I feel like doesn't seem to hold value as much. For only 10,000 Australian dollars, I'm like, wow, this is actually a really good deal for Constance because it's in Swift leather as well. So in the boutique, this would be close to 20K pretty sure which is a lot so it's like for a mini constance it's a pretty good price ten thousand um i was also kind of tempted to buy this myself but again like blue electric i'm just not sure on the color so i'm not gonna settle like still ten thousand dollars here guys so you really gotta think about it but i think like this is a better deal than like the kelly to go right like getting this over the kelly to go 
because it's a Constance. But then again, the Kelly to go was like gold, like gold color, which is prettier than, or like more versatile than blue electric, which some people would find very hard to style. Yeah, so color is really important, right, for resale value. Really interesting. Maybe this is like scratched up or something. I don't know why the price is like so reasonable. But yeah, it's been sitting there for a while. Just thought I'd mention it. And then Persifair also have a really cute Kelly to go in Morph Sylvester, which I think is so pretty, which is 8,900. So it's definitely, I think it's under the retail price. And Morph Sylvester tends to like sell for over retail. So that's really pretty as well. And finally, Persifair have a Kelly 25 Swift in Rose Sakura, which, oh my gosh, what a dreamy color. Now, if you were going to go on a journey in the boutique to get this, I'm sure you would have to spend quite a lot, like maybe the ratio of like one to one, two to one of the bag. I, I, I'm sure it would be hard to get Rose Sakura in the store. Um, and this is $27,999. Okay, it's $28,000, so it's no, not a cheap bag by any means. Uh, but I do think if you're a pink lover... This price, like, because I, I look at the whole market, right? This price is, like, on the lower end of, like, a Rosakuru Kelly compared to, like, if you go on some other resellers, it, it might be over, like, 30000 So I think for, like, for this bag, it's, like, not a bad price because it's Rosakura and it's a Kelly 25. But, yeah, I I can see why it's not moving as well because it's a very light colour and it, people don't like Swift leather, but... With Rose Sakura, you can usually only get it in Swift unless it's a special order. Then you can get it in Chev sometimes. Um, yeah, because I think Rose Sakura just looks better in Swift. Something about the color. So I think it's a stunning bag. So I thought I'd mention it. And the price is, it's a lot, but it's a dream bag. So, you know, sometimes, um, like, I feel like this would have been listed for higher last year. But now they had to kind of make the price a little bit lower. So anyways, guys, they're my Jessie's Picks of the Week, pre-love picks. Uh, let me know if any of the bags I've mentioned today have piqued your interest. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching my vlog video today. And I'll talk to you guys on my next one. Bye!